How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Now in this video we're going to be talking about Battlefront 2's mods. Now mods are something that I haven't really done a whole lot of covering on my channel, mainly because most of Battlefront 2's lifespan I was an Xbox player and didn't have a PC. But given that Battlefront 2 has come to an end, I have decided to look into mods a little bit more. And I have to say, I was pretty blown away at the mods Battlefront 2 has and just how it can keep Battlefront 2 alive. So I went and put out a poll on the channel's community tab asking you guys if you wanted to see videos on Battlefront 2 mods in future. And the poll was very, very one-sided. Now, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, I will definitely cover Battlefront 2 mods in future, like I'll rank mods and all that good stuff as there's no new content to rank and that's what a lot of you guys love to see. So if that is something that you would enjoy watching, then be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you stay up to date. And of course, if you haven't already, feel free to check out my second channel in the top right corner of this video. But now let's dive straight into this. Now, this is going to be more of a discussion centralized video surrounding mods for Battlefront 2 and what it can mean for the future of the game. And I will showcase some of these incredible mods throughout this video just to keep things interesting. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't have a PC, so you can't necessarily do the mods yourself, which is where I come in. As a Battlefront 2 player and fan, I can say with full confidence that a lot of these mods are something that you guys will want to see if you can't do them for yourself. So like I said, if you guys do enjoy this and you know this video does okay, then I will happily keep going as I don't want to leave Battlefront 2 behind entirely as that's what a lot of you guys wanted to see. Now before we showcase a few of the mods, I will put this over to you guys for a second. Do you guys want to see a weekly top 5 or top 10 mods video? I know other YouTubers do it, that's why I'm leaving it up to you guys. And it'll be a good way to keep consistent Battlefront 2 content coming for the channel. Plus, mods are awesome, so if you guys do want to see something like that or mod ranking videos like I mentioned before, then be sure to comment below. But anyway, back to it. So like I said before, I've only really just started to dive deep into mods and modding in general, and I was completely blown away by some of the things that I have seen so far. Now a mod that I just wanted to show off in this video because it absolutely blew me away, and that is a mod by N7 Tali. Now this is a Starkiller mod which replaces Kylo Ren in game, and it is absolutely unbelievable. I gotta admit, I wasn't completely sold on making mod content for my channel until I saw this. I saw something like this mod pop up a few months ago, but I'm pretty sure it was kind of unfinished because it didn't look very good. But this is incredible, and it makes me just want to go and play The Force Unleashed. Now, there is additional voice lines that take place for this mod. I assume they're pulled straight from The Force Unleashed games, and there's also a few skin variants. So, you know, this mod is absolutely amazing. So... Full credit to N7 Tali who made the mod. Now the next and probably final mod that I'll showcase in this video, it's a little bit older, but I wanted to showcase it anyway because it's just so goddamn awesome. And that is of course the Darth Malgus mod for Darth Vader made by Dagiel Nox. I probably mispronounced that, but you know, what can you do? So this completely replaces Darth Vader and it really does suit the mod. Now I was screwing around offline with this mod active and I was just blown away by it. Like these two mods that I just showed you are just the tip of the iceberg of what mods are capable of for Battlefront 2. And I mean that's why I'm making this video because I really do believe the future of Battlefront 2 lies within mods like these. This is the sort of stuff that will keep this game alive. And it seems like since the game's live service has come to an end that the mods have just started to really ramp up and they will continue to do that. The awesome thing is, and this is why I want to make content on it, is although Battlefront 2's content drops may have come to an end, the mods will never come to an end. They will constantly come to the game and they will get bigger and better as updates stop for Battlefront 2. The less updates that come to Battlefront 2, the more creative modders can get, as with each patch, it kind of screws around with the game's files and messes up the mods. But you know, that's not going to happen anymore, so mods are just going to run wild. Now, we've seen this with older Star Wars games where mods just take over, and I honestly think that is going to happen to Battlefront 2, which is completely just awesome. Like, I'm sure that, you know, not before long, there will be a full-on Coruscant mod in Battlefront 2 where you can play as Anakin and slaughter younglings, and that's all you really need in life. 
But now moving on, and as we all know, as this still is pretty raw, we did not get Ahsoka in Battlefront 2, even though the hero designer for the game did want to work on her. And I mean, there were voice lines found in the game's files, which led to Ahsoka coming to the game and all that. But, you know, long story short, if Battlefront 2 didn't come to a sudden end, there was a very high chance that we were going to get Ahsoka in the game. But this is where mods come in, because with mods, you can play as Ahsoka. And I have to say, it's not far off what a hero would be like for Battlefront 2. Thanks to Nanobuds, there is an Ahsoka mod that has a bunch of different Ahsoka appearances as well as voice lines pulled straight from the Clone Wars and Rebels TV show, which just straight up replaces voice lines for Rey. So I mean, even though Ahsoka didn't officially make it into Battlefront 2 due to the game's cancellation, she will live on through the mods in this game, and the same goes for Asajj Ventress. There are really, really impressive mods for Ventress here as well. It honestly, it kind of makes you a little bit depressed that this kind of stuff didn't come to Battlefront 2, but you know, given the talent of the people behind these mods, it's genuinely almost as good as actually having the heroes themselves in the game. And you know, given Battlefront 2's current situation, that's kind of the best that we can hope for, but yeah, you, I mean, you really can't help but wonder what could have been considering how good some of these mods are. Now, the thing with mods is, in all honesty, I think a lot of them actually look better than some of the skins that we actually get in the game. Like, all of the Maul mods, well, most of them anyway, look better than the legit Maul skin that we got for Battlefront 2 in the last update. Which, I mean, that says a lot about what mods are capable of. Like, I genuinely think that I'd rather run 99% of the mods for Darth Maul than use the legit skin behind the 5,000 kill challenge. I just think they all look 10 times better. Please don't hurt me. And this is something that actually has me very excited because through the power of modding by Mod Creator Dunno123, we are actually able to have Greedo and Nine Num ported over from Battlefront 2015 and slapped straight into Battlefront 2, which I thought was honestly just amazing. Like emotes and all, which is just insane. So you know for a damn fact that I sat in the menus spamming Pancake Face's stupid little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly guys imagine if we got accurate Jin and krennic ports from battlefront 2015 into battlefront 2 through the power of mods those are two other highly rumored heroes that we never ended up seeing in battlefront 2 even though the final update would have been the very ideal place to drop them into the game but oh well like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know the full capabilities of mods or anything, because I don't. But, you know, without Battlefront 2's files getting messed around with new updates, imagine if we could get, like, maps ported over from Battlefront 2015 with the power of mods. Like, give me that Carbonite Freezing Chambers Bespin map from Battlefront 2015. I genuinely think that that is like one of, if not the best Battlefront map ever created. Like, if that came to Battlefront 2 through mods, I would legitimately scream. But yeah, I've got to say, I really do see a bright future for Battlefront 2, at least in terms of modding. Like, Battlefront 2 has ended, sure, but the modding is something that can really give this game a heartbeat for a long time. And if you really do love Battlefront 2 and you are in a position where you can even buy a cheap PC, I would recommend it just for Battlefront 2 mods alone. Obviously having a PC, you know, it has more perks than just Battlefront 2 mods. But you know, the mods on offer for Battlefront 2 are just insanely good and the potential for Battlefront 2 mods over the next few years is probably going to end up exceeding what DICE were actually able to do for the game themselves. And I know that I for one really do want to be a part of that and that's why I will be watching mods closely. I really do wish that, you know, I got into modding sooner because it would have cured a lot of the complaints that I had for content we were never getting in Battlefront 2 throughout its lifespan. But I guess, better late than never. But anyway guys, make sure you go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think of the mods for Battlefront 2. Like I said throughout the video, I do see a future for this game with mods and it's really starting to take off now that updates for Battlefront 2 have ceased. So you know, modders don't have to constantly tweak things and constantly update their mods anymore. And like I said, I do want to cover Battlefront 2 mods until like forever. So if you do want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest mods, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. 
And remember to let me know down in the comments if you do want to see a top five or top 10 mods of the week and, you know, mod ranking videos because there is a lot there that I can make content on. And given the way recent videos have performed, it is pretty blatantly clear that you guys really do want to see Battlefront 2 above anything else. And I honestly think that this is the best way to do that. But yeah, that is pretty much just about going to do it for this video. So thank you all for stopping by. Be sure to check out the second channel if you haven't already and keep an eye out for uploads on both of my channels as things will be coming hard and fast over the next few weeks. So thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all again in the next one.